Hello and welcome to Michelle's Digital Touch Up. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. So it's now 17.34. So I need to sort of be finished before 17.40, really. Um, which gives me plenty of time to do things in. Okay, so um, thanks for joining us. I'm sorry this is kind of a quickie podcast, but I'm looking to put them on YouTube. Um, on YouTube, don't like. Um, films that are under uh, over 10 minutes which is really annoying um, but anyway here we go so what I want to show you today is somewhere here one of my actions soft focus um, basically what it does is it goes through keeps the edges edge sharp and f defocuses everything else which is rather good so first things first is what you have to do is duplicate your background layer da -da, da -da 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 -da. And then you go to the channels, green, bring that down to there. Filter, stylize, find edges. So it's find your edges. So hold down control or command and hit L for your levels. And bring your blacks in, bring your whites in. And then just kind of figure out what you want to keep sharp. So I think that works rather nicely. And bring these in a bit more. So I'm going to click OK. You need to blur this. Not much, two pixels is usually enough. Um, possibly a bit too many on this one. You just want to blur it so the edges aren't like ding sharp. So that's fine. So okay. Bearing in mind this is something you'd be re you'd start a new action and sort of new action, and it'd be recording when you do this. But anyway, um, what you kind of need to do now is hold down the control or command, and that selects all the black. Click on RGB. Go back to your layers. On your background copy, make sure that's selected click the add layer mask so you've got a matte layer mask click back on the actual picture thumbnail go to filter and you want to go to Gaussian blur again but sort of do what I'm doing go through the whole thing zoom in here and you probably want quite a few pixels on this one not that much that's a bit too much that's slightly too much as well you kind of just want to smooth the skin off do you see so hit OK You'll have a think about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. Zoom out twice. So it's 50%. And there we go. So if I turn this off and back on again, you see it's lovely and soft and blurry. And what you can do with this here is bring it down to uh, swap and change. What else? Let's have a look. There are other ways of doing this. Um, if we start back at the beginning again. If we duplicate a layer okay um, do the whole channel thing again so green now with this one you have to make it lots of black lots of black very contrasty okay so filter blur Gaussian blur again two and a half yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Da -na -na. Control click again. Back to there. And what you need to do is hit delete this time. Okay, so control um, D for deselecting. So you've just got certain things selected. You're going to go to your filter, blur, Gaussian and blur. And you want to bring that down. Have I done the right thing? No, ah, there we go, right, reverse. Da -na -na, back up. Okay, so what you want to do is when you get to this point, which is we've just selected um, the black, you want to invert this, so Control, Shift, Invert, and that just inverts the mask selection. Then you want to delete. So what's going to happen is you've deleted all the, sh the bits you want to keep sharp. So we'll de deselect that, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. So we'll go in here, and you can see all the sharp bits are gone and you can sort of just blur it as much or as little as you want um, that's pretty nice so I'm going to click OK let it have a think about it, zoom out um, so we've got 50% so a quick look before and after and what you can do is add a layer mask and then paint with black to bring certain things back say hair or or so the eyes haven't worked so well and you know that kind of thing so there's two ways of doing it I hope you've enjoyed it um, leave a comment on the blog if you didn't um, and if you did, leave many comments on the blog. 
Hehe. <laughs> uh, it's it's digitaltouchup.blogspot.com. There's a link to the Flickr group on there as well. So if you want to post any of your stuff that you've done from following this tutorial or have been inspired from any tutorials, um, then please do. And I've done this in record time, so I'm very happy. Thank you very much for watching again, and I promise I'll be putting some more up. Also, look out for these on YouTube, because I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Yay! Go me! Anana, anana. This is going to be like a, a dipping the toe in the big blue, because I have no idea um, uh, what I'm doing. So, from me, from her, and from him, thanks for watching. <laughs>